back with another episode of <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, man. I'm here with uh, Mar Mar, man. Yes, sir. How you doing, brother? Good, bro. Blessed. I'm glad to be here. No cap. No, I'm, I'm glad to have you, man. And, and I know I know I reached out before, but I'm glad it happened now. Just man, uh, it was been supposed to happen, bro. I feel like the <laughs> drive out here, because I'm always driving. I feel like that's what was really holding it like okay. back. But now that makes sense, especially because what you're from Sac, right? Yeah, but I be st- I stay in L. A. So okay. it's like I'm always trying to get out here, but we in here now, so it's all good. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And you know, I know I know uh, it's been album mode right now so how, Crazy. how does it how does it feel be, how does it feel to be more right now i'm not gonna lie bless bro i feel like i'm somebody who just um who appreciates every moment and always has a lot of gratitude so i just be happy most of the time 90 percent of the time you know what i'm saying you have those days where it's just right bullshit but other than that i'm happy 24 7 for sure yeah so <laughs> like right, i'm right. in a great mood like because I, I feel like i know I don't know psychic shit, but I feel like I know the future, bro. Like, I, I know shit is about to start going crazy. So, I'm excited for it, for real. What do you think makes you so certain um, of God, that future? It's, it's really my faith. Yeah. I I feel like um, I can't lose, if you feel me, if it's in God's hands. It's just on his timing. I can't really pick the timing, but, like, when it's going to happen or how it's going to happen. But I know it's going to happen. I be knowing, bro. I'm trying to tell you. Like, I know this summer going to go crazy for me, bro. I just got to stay consistent, you know, drop the content and uh, give them the good music. It's really the music. The music yeah. is there, though. Like, I've always been giving good quality music. This ain't nothing new. It's just another day in the office for real. I just got to I gotta keep dropping. I feel like um, I haven't dropped in a second only because I'm trying to balance life and music. Mm. I got it now, but I was trying to learn it. It take a, it, I don't know, it take a toll on you when you got life just pounding at you, but then you got your fans requesting music. You know what I mean? So you got to go in the booth and kind of just like, not act like you want to sing, but sometimes I don't be in the mood to sing. And it's kind of hard to just like go in the booth and sing when you don't want to sing. You know what I mean? No, so yeah, it's, it's that's just me feel. balancing life and, and music, but I got it now. Like we good. I feel like I'm in a, the perfect mindset. I'm ready to just, you know, like I said, stay consistent, stay disciplined and focused. That that what is it? Um tunnel view? No, tunnel vision. Yeah, that Kodak <laughs> man got yeah, that, that tunnel, tunnel vision. vision. Hell yeah. So <clears throat> like I said, it's it's album mode, right? And, sure. and I've heard you say, I've heard other artists say, it. what does that like look like right now? What is your what is your life like? I know you're focused, but like what does that look like? Mm. Going to bed early. Like <laughs> as much as I like staying up late. I gotta go to bed early so I can attack the day. Oh yeah, there you go. I'm just so I can yeah. so I can attack the day for real. Cause I'm doing a lot. I'm trying to I'm trying to have my arm B body right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm hitting the gym and I'm going to boxing. Plus, you feel me? Like I said, I'm I'm working on my ebook also, and I'm trying to work on my merch and my clothing line. Plus, you know what I'm saying? I still got to make time for the family, so I got to hop on some calls. But you know, I got to write some music too, not just for myself, but for other artists. You know, I'm writing for. And um, I plan on starting a label soon. You know what I mean? Might as well. You basically are doing everything the label would do. Bro, I'm, I'm trying to just stay working, bro. If I ain't working, I'm twerking. But I'm always <laughs> working, though. You see what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to keep my hands busy, bro. But as far as the music, though, it's going to hit. I promise you. It's going to hit. I just got to stay consistent. That's really the word with me, consistency, bro. Yeah. No, that's, I believe it. I believe real, it. that's really what I'm stuck on. But what about you? Like, how's life been looking for you, though? Shit. Oh, man, I appreciate you for asking. Uh, honestly, I think I think we're on the same wave. Uh, I was just sitting here like, last night, you know, I was usually just, like, sitting here either throwing some, like, just that thinking music. I, you know, it yeah. don't, like, sometimes you got music that ain't even got words in it, but it'll make you, like, put No, you bro, in the I definitely, I got jazz and, like, yeah. hella shit in my playlist, bro, that I just listen to to get my mind right, you know what I mean? So I definitely, I definitely feel what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, and I was sure. just in here, vis- you know, visualizing how this studio, I'm telling you, bro, like, next time you come back, this shit's not gonna look like this. Like, Nah, bro, you you definitely had a vision, bro, and you're, you're intelligent, bro, like, I, I already know you're gonna go far with everything you do, real shit, bro. I appreciate that, man. I promise you, I'm already it's, knowing. It takes to know it, for real. Um, you. And, you know, like I said, I listen to other podcasts just because I want to like learn more about you without 
getting to you know know you yet. I don't know. It's like a weird process, but no, I feel you. I know what you mean. Because bro, sometimes I'll, I'll be telling people, I'm like, yeah, I know what this is about you, and you're like, what? You know, it's like, what the fuck? nah, nah. <laughs> I, I feel like at this point, you know, I understand like um you know the interviews and the podcast, and it's gonna be certain questions that are the same or you feel me? I never mind answering it a, a thousand, a million times, bro. Right. I feel like. I'm blessed to be able to answer these questions. You know what I mean? Some people don't even get interviews or podcasts or, you know what I mean? People don't get those opportunities, bro. And I and I know you're going to do big things. So I'm just, it's an honor to be here, bro. I, I really mean that, genuinely, bro. I, I like, I like talking. So. <laughs> no, nah, yeah, man. You, I, and that's the thing. You're not someone who's just talking, bro. You, you putting out game. You like, it's, it's contagious. That's bro. real, really bro. Is. I appreciate that for real, for real. But yeah, as far as the album, bro. It's almost here. I really want to drop. Yeah. I really want to drop in July. Okay. For real. I know I'm going to give them singles, but I want to drop the album in July. Uh, the album's called For You. Well, no, 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 no. It's called For Us. For Us. For Us. Okay. <laughs> yeah, For Us. And I also got a single that's about to drop, and it's called For Us. And what I was doing with that, it started off as the song, Just For Us, right? And I fell in love with it, and I was like, okay. I might as well just do the album for us. So when they type it in, they type in the song, it's going to show the album. Or if they they type in the album, the song's going to pop up. I feel like it's like a double entendre. It's a win-win. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, you know, the meaning for us could mean for anybody but for us in a way. You know what I'm saying? So if it's like for the players or for the simps, you know what I'm saying? It's for us or whoever it relates to. So, you know, it's so many different meanings with that title. And I just want to keep the simplicity of it. I didn't want to you know, have something so crazy. I like to keep things simple, but still have such a big effect. That's mm. what I'm trying to do. You know what I mean? So that's why I kept it for us. Type shit. I like it. I, you, I really do. Because I think, you know, the albums that you can kind of feel like are yours are the ones that, you know, usually pop off. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. Uh, do you have, like, any anyone on the album other than yourself? <sighs> or you don't want to talk about it just yet? No, 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 no. Look, look, look. <laughs> I'm I'm one of those dudes that like to really just have it solidified. It's in the works, you know what I'm saying? We talking about it, bro, I even recorded it, but I need it to be done. You know what I mean? I need to know, like, but other than that, if I don't have, like, two features, I think I'm going to just keep it at one. But it's going to be somebody who's really like that, you know what I'm saying? So I just, I got I to gotta lock it in first before I just speak on it. I got to lock it in. I learned my lesson on that. I remember... <laughs> I feel you. No, yeah, Look, let's hear it. Yeah, yeah. No, I remember. Um, I remember Eric Bellinger. He was shopping around a song, right? And my manager had you feel me showed it to me, and he wanted to see how I was sound on it. And you know, I laid my my verse on there, and I'm thinking like, bro, Eric Bellinger gonna put me on his song, bro. I'm telling everybody, I'm talking about my friends, homegirls, auntie, mom, telling everybody. And then he ends up dropping the song with somebody else. And then that was like my first, um, like my first realization, like, nigga, you, you was just overthinking it. Like, you feel me? He was trying to see if you was fit for it, right. but that wasn't really your tempo at the time. You feel me? Like, yeah. I was probably like 19, but I, I just knew not to speak too early. I really like to pop out. Like, I like to speak things into existence, of course, but definitely wait till things are solidified and like really locked in to pop out for sure. That's what I'm about. Like, yeah, I, I definitely say that's what I'm on for sure. Bro, I feel you 100%. Who do you think that I should do a feature with, though? Like, somebody that you would think is in my lane or something like that. That's a great question. Because uh, honestly, bro, I think after this project, I don't really want to do too many features, bro. And it's not on some prideful shit, but sometimes, bro, like, I just be reaching out and my hand just get left there, bro. And it's like, I be seeing you see my stories. <laughs> you watching my page and all this other shit, but you're not fucking with me when I'm really trying to, like, sincerely, genuinely work with you. And it's like, I feel like the talent, like, I feel like talent with talent is like iron sharpening iron, but people be afraid of that. Artists these days, they be so afraid to just work with other artists, so... I don't know, man. I think I'm going to join that train. <laughs> I'm going to get, you know, the features. Okay, let's say somebody wants me on their song, though. Like, uh, just anybody. Uh, uh, like, a, a A-list celebrity or a B-list. Anybody. If they want me on their song, okay, I'll do that. 
but I don't know about having people on my song for yeah, too long. Reach yeah, out, bro. Because I'm telling you. Or they charging you out the ass, bro. Lil Dirk, even Mozzie. Mozzie don't be having to pay for his features. Or Lil Dirk, bro. I need to get myself to a level where I'm not paying for my features. I'm tired of, you feel me? Like, yeah. goodness. I mean, I pay. I done, I done spent crazy amounts on features, bro. Me, my manager, take, we know. But it's just like, it's getting to a point where I just need some respect on my name, bro. But I'm going to show that. I feel like I got to show that more than say that. And I don't know. I feel like once I hit a billion streams, because we got like a quarter of a of a, a billion right now. Once I hit a billion and put a little more respect on my name, because the streams and everything is there, bro. I just yeah. noticed my face. It's just not out there. So that's what I'm talking about with the consistency, because, you know, I got to put the content out there as well. And I know, bro, I'm viral. So I already know shit's going to take off. It just takes me posting the videos and, you know, interacting and engaging with my people. I feel like um, I'll be very distant. And it's not on purpose. I just be trying to get in my mode. I got ADHD, bro. So, like, I be getting distracted by everything, notifications, text, all that. So the best way for me to grind, get my bag, finish the project, you know, handle everything I need to handle is just not responding and you feel me shutting just like out. shutting myself out but it, it's it's a pro it has its pros and cons right. you feel me because i mean you know my cousins and everybody be calling and it's not like i'm ignoring them i'm just in a different mode right now so i can't even pick my shit up but then they'll be like but you posted on instagram so what is you on <laughs> but it's like me posting on instagram is like me writing in my journal right like, like me just posting a random little meme it's nothing. I'm not checking my, my text notifications or, or my DMs. I'm just posting on my story and hopping right back off. Right. But they'll take that the wrong way. No, oh, facts. but you could be on Instagram. <laughs> <right? laughs> Bullshit. No, I feel you. Because sometimes, you know, to respond to somebody, you gotta, gotta you kind of got to put yourself in a certain energy or a certain, like, mood or whatever. And it's yeah. like, man, I'm just trying to chill right now. <laughs> no like, bullshit. Yeah, yeah, bro. I'm doing me. <laughs> you know, sometimes it'll be a week or, or a day or even a month that'll take a toll on you, bro. And it's like, yeah, it just it be it be a lot to deal with, bro. And nobody really understand but you. So it's like you got to get yourself through those moments because nobody's gonna be able to get you through those moments but you. So you got to care for yourself like no other. I feel like especially in those type of moments where you got to distance yourself to really, you know, better your situation. Yeah. So now, honestly, man, you're doing it right now. You know, you, you sat down right now. You, you know, you just told me you have a podcast tomorrow. I just seen one, you seen you did one with Trevor. So. And you're, you know, you're a solid dude. You have charisma. So I I really do I believe when that. you say, like, all you got to do is just put this shit out there. <laughs> <laughs> For shit, real, bro. bro like, I'm, really, I'm really not going to play with him this year, bro. I feel like I know what I could really do. And I want to show that. I'm going to really show that this summer, bro. Like, this year. But I'm saying summer's first. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm going to cut up, bro. It's only right. And then we're going to go back to these videos. You're going to be like, damn, bro, you called it. And I'm like, bro, I told you. Same with you, though, bro. You going to do your thing. Same with you. Y'all going to take off, bro. I promise you. I know it, bro. Appreciate I already that. know. Yeah, no, my guy right here, man. I always talk about it off camera, but let me talk about it on camera. He, you know, I salute to Alex because he he literally, bro, takes care of all, all the back end. But That's real. he also has his own grind to where companies will come hire him to do, like, Video editing, and I think that's oh, so that's dope. Hella tight. Yeah, yeah, bro, bro that's dope as fuck, for sure. And I fuck with the North Face, bro. That shit hard. <laughs> for sure. And if you know Alex, man, the reason why that's such a big deal, in my opinion, is because, bro, he loves his house. Yeah. Like, he, he's a homebody. He's just chilling, and he's making money out of his house. He's living in his house. Like, he's doing everything. And it's like, yeah. bro, he's just happy, and I, I salute you, brother. Yeah, bro. that's the best way to be, bro. <laughs> happy, bro. Happy. Hell yeah, best dude. Best way to be. Bro, I, I went, like I said, I was going through your Instagram and I found a quote, man. I definitely want to bring it up. Oh, and I, sure and I think it'll, it'll tie it up to what we're talking about right now. Hell yeah. You said, if you want to feel rich, count the things money can't buy. That's real, bro. bro I, let's, can we talk about that? Yeah, that's bro. Deep. I feel like we always talk about the things that we want or, or that we need, but we never really pay attention to the things that we have. And I feel like the things that we have are priceless that money can't buy. And that's richer than anything. You know what I mean? The fact that I still got my mom, bro, that shit, that shit, like, it hits me every day. Or or even just my sisters and my, my grandmas. Just, like, when I wake up and I'm like, dang, bro, like, I'm glad I still got my people. Because I got, like, bros that don't got their mom. Or, you feel me, that don't got people in their life or just people to talk to or vent to. So, you know, I, I, I definitely 
am grateful, bro. And I feel like gratitude is is definitely like my number one thing. That's my number one thing for sure. Right. Yeah, man. And I think, you know, to follow up with that quote, it's like, like you said, man, I think we in the back of my, our mind, we say, man, as soon, as soon as I get those shades, as soon as I get that camera, whatever, then I'm going to be happy. But I think yeah. the, the things that really do make you rich and wealthy and feel like you're rich are things you can't buy, you know? No, for sure, bro. And I feel like, um, I feel like I always knew family is everything. But as I grew up, and I really, like, distanced myself from my family. Not like I distanced myself. I just moved out of Sacramento. I would be homesick and wouldn't really notice I was homesick and would wonder why I was sad. Like, I would wonder what I was, why I was feeling sad and shit. I'm like, I'm going crazy. Like, what's going on? I'm like, <laughs> damn, nigga, you miss your mom. Like, you miss your sisters. You miss, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody was in a house at one point and then everybody just start venturing off doing their own thing. So everybody just starts separating. I mean, we still in the group chat and talking to see right. each other at family events, but shit just a little different now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just glad that I still have, you know, my loved ones in my life and that I have a, a great team and that I have solid ones around me because I bump into too many weirdos, bro. Too many. Too many weirdos. Too many hating ass niggas. Too many weird bitches, too many just like <laughs> weirdos, bro. So I appreciate the good ones around me and the genuine people, bro. For real, for real. Yeah, no, it's it's hard to come across those type of people for sure. Yeah. You know, and... and uh, it's easier to come across weirdos, bro, or people yeah. with fake intentions, like, yeah. or bad intentions, you know what I mean? No, I believe it, bro. And I think, you know, until you start appreciating those people, you know, you're not gonna... Or once you appreciate those people, your life's going to change. No, no. It's another movie that made me, like, realize. It's that movie with Adam Sandler. I think it's called Click. Yeah. Bro, that's a good-ass movie, bro. It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good-ass movie, bro, because I ain't seen it in hella long, but I noticed he was having the pleasure of just, you know, being able to pause time, uh, fast-forward, rewind. Right. But he kept fast-forwarding to the point where, you know, his dad was gone. I think his wife ended up with another man. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what happens when you just simulate life and you're not really like strategic and so detailed with things day by day and you just go with the flow of life. You'll wake up one day and shit is just not your way. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you got to really lock in, bro. I peep that. Yeah. Peep that. I be noticing a little, little shit. <laughs> Damn. Not, did, have you always thought like this? Or was there like a pivotal point in your life that you were like, man, like... To be honest... I always think about some stupid random shit, bro. Like, <laughs> like, I be on some, I don't know. I be having deep thoughts, of course, bro. Like, I be on some on some real shit. But 90% of it is bullshit. I ain't gonna lie. I be bullshit. And I be playing all day. I be like. Nah, honestly, bro, I, you could pass as a comic, bro. Like, on some shit. Like. Hey, nah, bro. I was telling myself one of these days, I'm gonna really just, you feel me, take a couple shots. And I'm gonna hop on stage, like. Like, yeah, really do right, some right stand-up. Some or... Nah, I was going to freestyle. Yeah. Just go up there, bro. Yeah, yeah, and just yeah. be random. What's the most they could do? Boo me? Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I'll just start roasting people in the crowd. So it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> nah, thanks. <laughs> real. But I, I definitely want to want to get into that, too. It's everything I want to do, bro. I want to do so much, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm even boxing. Like, because I want to fight other influencers, like TikTokers, rappers, all of that for a bag. So... That's what I really want to get into. Pause on Blueface, huh? Bro, that'll go crazy. No cap, bro. I would yeah, love to set be... that up, bro. Just anything that involves a bag, let's get it. Like, you feel me? I think that'll go crazy, though. He got he got arms, though. That nigga got yeah, reach. No, for sure. I'll get in there. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm going to get Dude, it in you gotta there. stay tight, bro. <laughs> got to. Got to. I think that'll be a good one, though. No cap. Yeah. I, I, I know um some of his management, uh, his management too, so... I think that'd be dope, bro. No cap. Yeah, the reason I brought him up is because, I mean, out of everyone that I've, like, within the rap scene, I think he actually has, like, hands. So I'm like, you That's know, what I'm saying. Know. I feel like people would think he would beat my ass, too. So I think we should run that just so I could really. Yeah. I feel like I'd be playing a lot and I'd always be on goofy shit. So I could really sing in the ring and be on some bullshit, but still get the job done, bro. I'm trying to tell you. I, um, <laughs> like, if I'm in the ring, I'm going to be on bullshit. I ain't going to lie, but I'm definitely going crazy, though. No cap. Like, yeah. I definitely got hands, bro. I got hella. <laughs> I ain't saying high school fights count. This don't count at all. But I got hella <laughs> high school fights under my belt. <laughs> I swear We're playing with this man, bro. Man, I swear, <laughs> bro. I, I definitely want to get into the um 
into the influencer boxing though for sure, bro. Yeah. That's where that's where a bag is gonna be. And I think that'd be hella fun, bro. It would. It hella, bro. You no, gotta come to my fight. It's good. For sure, it's bro. Good. <laughs> for sure. No, that's what I'm saying. Uh I think you you know, you obviously have like that charisma to do something, you know, be an artist, but like yeah. Let's not put you in a box type thing, you know? Like, I appreciate you're that, You're not bro. just an artist. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm an R&B singer, but they'll be like, bro, aren't you that one rapper? Or don't you be rapping? Like, bro, I ain't rap not one day in my life. I mean, I could rap, though. I really can. <laughs> bro, I yeah, yeah. But the only reason I don't rap, bro, is because I remember my brother told me at like 16, 15, just on some random shit, he was just like, don't be one of them R&B singers that got to have one of them rapping freestyles or uh, that, that can... What what was he saying? He was like, be an R and B singer that can rap, but don't be an R and B rapper or some something like that, bro. And it was a point where I feel like the industry had a lot of rappers that were trying to sing on some melodic shit. Like yeah. they weren't singing, but it was melodic. Yeah. I feel like I don't know. We gonna see, bro. Cause who knows, bro? What if I really just start rapping out of nowhere and just turn it up? You know what I mean? Cause I do be singing, but. What if I just really put my sexy on and just start talking to Come the on. mic? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Some acapella, bro. Come you on. know what I'm saying, bro? Really get on my Aubrey Graham shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> really go crazy, bro. Nah, Who knows? And, and, you know, you, you, I think you're known for, for being pretty versatile, right, within your music. Like you like you said, man, you got the, the sim music, but then you got the, man, I'm just trying to chill or like the, yeah. come that on, player let's shit. Up. You know, yeah, I, mean, yeah, yeah, I definitely yeah. like the, the player shit, like the flirt type of songs and, and just shit. I, no, no, the songs, I like the player songs, but I also like the songs that's, like, dedicated to the women. Like, I got a song called Independent. I know that shit's still going to go crazy, bro. Like, it hasn't got, like, you know, all the ears on it yet, but I know that song going to take off. It's such a great song. Like, she rather catch flights than feelings. She don't need no man. She chilling. And she got her own. She different. Shorty's mm. so independent. Like, bro, if you just hear what I was talking about in that song, the ladies, they love it. I just got to get more ladies to listen to it. But it's definitely a banger, bro. Yeah. I dropped that last year on my last project. But my last project, bro, it was amazing, bro. Yeah. It was amazing. And I'm not just being, you feel me? That is my opinion. But out of my other projects, I love. I love my other projects uh, as well. I got a project called um, Love Don't Cost a Thing, which is a banger. But Good intentions, that project, bro. If you just sit there and listen to that project, bro, I just gave you different, like, um, I gave you different beat selections, and I'm talking about like different vibes. I'm talking about simp to player to I might jump off a building, but not on no suicidal shit, right, right, probably because right. you might be you Spider Man and you might you feel me shoot a web, yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I'm like, you be feeling yourself too much. <laughs> I got too many different type of songs. Like, I got songs for every different type of mood or emotion, I feel like. So, that last project, I feel like it's a classic already. But it's not considered a classic till you drop your new shit. You mm. feel me? Like, it's not considered a classic until you got more projects produced. So Over time, it'll become a classic. Yeah, for sure. It's a, To me, bro, it's already a classic, bro. Like, I'm telling you, it's one of them ones. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get some plaques from it. Uh, a little bit. We just chilling right now. Yeah, <laughs> nah, I, I, uh, I believe it. So ruthless. Did you? Did you? You got a plaque for that, right? Yes, sir. Um, went platinum independently by the grace of God. Thank him, man. Um, shout out to my fans. Shout out to you know TikTok. Shout out to just everybody who who even gave it one listen. I appreciate you, and uh, it'll be diamond soon. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? No, I will. It, it's just like this, is just right now, like platinum right now. But I definitely want to stay independent, bro. That's the way. If I want to keep saying I'm platinum independent, oh, I went this independent. I'm four times platinum independent. Like, I don't think I want to sign, that's bro. That's major respect right there. You know, I, I think. Thank you, bro. I yeah. want to keep my creative control. Mm. I want to, I just want to talk shit to the labels and talk about the labels. Yeah. And I like that. Like, expose the industry. Mm, that's when they kill you. So I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <Nah>, I, <laughs> I feel you. I mean, there is two sides. You know? <laughs> nah, bro, if you start doing too much, I'm going to yeah. come up missing, bro. There's just too much money involved. Yeah, yeah bro. They're going to be like, uh, yeah, you're <laughs> you're doing what? <laughs> yeah. Take them off, his, <laughs> take them off the playlist. <laughs> they tripping, bro. Nah, yeah, because they are connected with everyone else. So. Bro, 
Yeah. It's all connected, bro. And I don't mind that. I really just make music because I love to make music. But at the same time, I be trying to be swaggy with the shit. I I just want to look good while I do it. That's all. You look good, you play good. Feel you good. look good, you feel good, you play good. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I'm on with shit, man. Salute. Honestly. Do you feel it. like um, that song opened up different doors? Hell yeah. Like that song opened up I can't say every door but it's about to be like I feel like it just it started was soon to become I feel like I'm I haven't even really got started yet bro I feel like this was all just pre-ejaculation <laughs> you know what I mean so it's time to come yeah with some real shit you feel me so it's time to go crazy bro and really <laughs> take this shit to the next level like I'm trying to really do this shit on some yeah. On some next level. Because, bro, I, I looked up independent platinum artists, and I seen the list, bro. I'm seeing Kendrick Lamar. I'm seeing Drake. I'm seeing all these crazy people, but you got to put me under that list, too. Like, you got to put my name and face there, too. So, that's a blessing beyond blessings. And it's only the beginning. Like I said, that's just some pre, you know what I'm saying? That's some yeah. pre-pre. So. Yeah, because, yeah, I mean, because uh, <laughs> you also, you know, not only do you feel like it showed you like it was possible, yeah, for sure. Like once I seen it, once once I went platinum, because I mean we went gold. You feel me, independent. But once we did like another five hundred units, uh, another five hundred thousand units, it was like okay, let's just stay independent. What do we need? What do we need a label for? We're doing this independent, off the muscle, out the mud. What do we need a sign for? Like okay, you you gonna get an extra push. You gonna get to take the elevator instead of the stairs. Oh, fuck the stairs. Give me the ladder. Damn, yeah. <laughs> like, nah. And fuck the elevator. I don't want to take the elevator. Sometimes the elevator gets stuck. On the stairs, you're not getting stuck unless your legs hurt, but you can still push yourself through. Like you know where you want to go. On that elevator, you get a little risky. You could drop at any point if it's too many people on with you. See me. I like the rock solo dolo, bro. I don't like to have too many, you know what I'm saying? If anybody, you see, I put up by myself. Like, I really be to the neck, bro. It's really independency at its finest. You know what I'm saying? So, I like to really just push that independent shit, bro. I don't want to sign. If I sign, it's probably signing an artist to my label or something. But me signing, I don't know. It got to be a distribution deal or something. But even that, I don't know if I want to do the distribution deals crazy. Like, yeah. I don't know. Who knows, though? I can't tell the future. Right. I just know I got to go crazy in the future. You know what I'm saying? And do yeah. my shit. But other... Other than that, man, I don't know. Yeah, because what was, like, the process of g Easy and, for example, Quando Rondo, like, hopping on that song? Money. Money. It was a lot of money involved. And I appreciate <laughs> I appreciate that whole experience and that music video and the collaboration. That was everything. It was a dream come true. And I feel like it's definitely something I learned from, too, though. Like, uh, that bag. I, bro, like, I definitely, that nigga be wanting to save, bro. But then, at the same time, if you want that feature, you're going to have to spend. But at the same time, I think it's just where I'm at in my head with things now. Yeah. But it's just like, I don't know. I don't even know. But I, I was, I'm was, i definitely grateful for that collab and anybody that ever did a remix with me on um Ruthless, because I did a remix with uh, Sage of Gemini and Derek yeah. King as well. And uh, who knows? We might get Morgan. Um, the other version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get him on another remix. Run it back another one. Like, <laughs> I Honestly, um, I just go off the fans, bro, in the crowd. If they hit me and say, we need one more remix, who do you want? Who do you want me to put on there? We, we doing it? Like, come on. Yeah, no, I, I like that you said you learned a lot from that experience. Uh, yeah, that's a lot I've been learning, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, what's like one of the biggest lessons you learned like lately that you've been mm. on? Biggest lesson I really Within, learned, like, maybe like music industry. Music industry has it just been that like you can do um, this on your own? The independent, yeah. yeah. It, you don't you don't need all the you don't need. You need a team, right? You need a team. It's better to have a team, but you don't exactly 
need one, but I feel like I feel like you do need a team. But at the same time, bro, it's just like you could get that shit done on your own. Like you could drop that shit on DistroKid by yourself and upload it to YouTube and edit it yourself and shit. Mm-hmm. You don't need a whole team to do that. Now, would it be easier? Yes. Would it make things you know less stressful on you? Yes. But if you could just do that shit yourself, do it. Like it's it's gonna be it's gonna cut out the middleman. Right. That's what it. That's what it's really about. Cutting out the middleman. I feel like, and just making smart moves, bro. Thinking strategically is everything, and, and really paying attention. Because I feel like ninety percent of the industry is just fake. And I know I keep saying ninety percent of everything is ninety percent, but it damn near is ninety percent. Like the industry's so fake, bro. Especially the motherfuckers in it. Like, I feel like niggas act like your brother, brother, like they really your brother, like, like really like your nigga. But then it's just industry shit. That shit just, once the cameras is off, niggas do not fuck with you. They not responding. They're not answering calls. No, none of that. But I get it. I get how that shit be. You know what I mean? Because like I said, I get distance too, but it's just like different in a way. It's just, I don't know. No, that makes sense. We calling them niggas out. We fading them niggas. <laughs> so many other niggas, is, like, I'm talking about, like, influencers are boxing too, bro. So I really feel like this is going to turn up, yeah, bro. you got a whole list. <laughs> it's going to turn up. I'm going to get disrespectful, bro. Because, I mean, I eventually just got to start calling niggas out instead of just, Wait it's not like nobody going to call me out, bro. They already just, you feel me? I'm underrated, bro. I'm really the underdog in every situation, which I like because you know the underdog always wins. So I like it that way. I prefer it that way. I feel like it just makes my story look better. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being tested, and then it turns into a testimony. Mm. So I don't really be tripping. I really just be keeping the faith, staying in my own lane for real. Yeah. That's all you got to do, bro. Mind your business and just stay in your lane. You're only going to excel if you're working continuously. Like I said, what what's that word again? Uh, consistency. That's everything. That's what I'm focused on, my consistency, my discipline, and my focus. Yeah, my consistency, <laughs> discipline, and focus. That's everything. Now, I see it, man. So so you're really enjoying that, that L.A. lifestyle. Yeah, but I'll be missing Sacramento. Because when I come to Sacramento, I'll be feeling so good, bro. Yeah. I be feeling like him for real. Not that I don't in LA, but I just, it's my people. That's really home when I'm in Sacramento, but I can't be there too long and it get too hot. It get hot. <laughs> and in LA right now, it's real gloomy. It's that cuddle weather. Like I like, yeah. I like LA right now. Sacramento is hot. It's a couple motherfuckers are walking around musty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just <laughs> like the bean though. Yeah. Oh man, bro. Let's talk about that one. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all did a shady, bro. Yeah, that's nah, crazy, bro. There was yeah that that series was crazy. I, honestly, I'm glad it happened because it, it never had happened, and I just and it just goes to show like, nah, bro. There's because this was a great ass NBA season. Though. It was, bro. bro it was even like the final. Good. It wasn't popular, but I think when it came down to basketball, like nah, it, it, yeah. If you watch basketball, you don't give a fuck who playing. You gonna see a good game. You just want to watch a good game, bro. Yeah. But honestly, I, I feel like. The Kings will take it next year. They just, you feel me? They had to do something new this year and show. Fox, bro, he he different, he bro. Him, bro. Clutch, yeah. bro. Yeah, clutch. He's different, bro. I gotta meet these dudes, bro. I ain't I ain't met him. Facts. I gotta meet him. I feel like a Sacramento King gotta meet a Sacramento King. You know uh, what I mean? You should have. Yeah, we need a uh, halftime performance for sure. Yeah. Man, that's what I'm saying. A little halftime performance. Yeah. I'm singing. Yeah, singing to the cheerleaders or something. <laughs> I mean, to the crowd. To the crowd. <laughs> I'm the cheerleaders. I'm tripping. <laughs> so you're a Kings fan? Yeah, but let me be real, though. So I'm a Kings fan, right? But I'm a LeBron fan, too, yeah. so it's weird. Yeah. No, I, I, I 100% agree. I'm, I'm the same way. I'm a LeBron fan. Oh, you a Kings fan? We're not, not Kings fan. Bro. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm a big <laughs> LeBron fan. Like, it don't matter what team. Like, <laughs> Bro, that's what I'm saying. Like, I've been a LeBron fan. Like, I really liked him on the Cavs, but then I stopped for a second. And then when he got back to the Heat, I really was loving him because I'm like, my brother was really putting on for him, like, really, like, I I just looked up to my brother a lot. So, him being a LeBron fan, I kind of just, like, checked in more on LeBron and seeing what he was on and shit. I'm like, damn, he really is the GOAT. Like, what? Yeah. Like, he's really the greatest. Like, he out here clutches. Thanks. And he's about to play with his son, too, soon. All Hopefully. them dudes out there already <laughs> is his sons, though. 
<laughs> like, if he's being real, the only one who's really messing with him, I mean, you feel me, everybody got their own, you know, talent and skills. Right. But Curry is different, yeah. bro. It's fake. Like, you don't want to see me on 2K with Curry. I'm not messing, bro. <laughs> like, I'm just too crazy. I got to get into my streaming, too, bro. That's what I meant to say. I got to get into my streaming. My guy right here, he has a a YouTube channel. Ah, okay. I'm going to subscribe, bro. He he makes money off his stream, so that's what I'm saying. I should link up. What's your YouTube channel? Mine? Yeah. Can we put it up right here? Can it pop up right here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, Come on, man. What games you playing, though? Uh, I've been playing uh, Apex, Valorant. You be on COD? Bro, gotta be on there, bro. That'd be too fun. I I haven't downloaded the full game though on some broke shit, but <laughs> <laughs> I'll be playing Warzone and all that. <laughs> what are you playing? Uh, Xbox, bro. I gotta get my PS5, but really I gotta get a PC. That's PC, really what yeah. I need. Yeah, I don't. That's where all the tile games. Yeah. Oh, you got PC? Oh yeah. How how much do it really be coming out to? It varies, huh? I know it's hella expensive. Yeah. I need it powerful. <laughs> okay, it don't gotta be too powerful. It could be. It could be like. <laughs> like average one, I'd say, like, to, to be cool, probably like twenty, two thousand. Okay, yeah. we could be pretty cool. Yeah, we could be pretty cool. I got built his own shit. He's like a yeah. He's basically like an IT guy, bro. Like, hey, bro, you tight, tight, bro. Yeah, yeah no, pff, it's the guy right here. For sure, bro. He's yeah. tight, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, you tight, bro. We need some, uh, some work done. <laughs> nah, man, I'm like, bro, he could be running it up right now. <laughs> like, boy. Yeah, bro. We, we got to get on mic next time, man. No, you, for real, for deep, real, bro. bro. <laughs> for real. That's dope to hear, though. For yeah. real, for real. That's amazing. And I think it goes back to what you were saying, bro. It's like, you know, it. you were, you were kind of basically in between, like, having a team but doing it on your own. Yeah. So let's talk about that, bro, because I'm the same way where it's like, man... I don't. I like to get shit done myself because, yeah. like, you know, at the end of the day, like, if I, if I just feel more content that way. Yeah. I but, feel like, oh, go ahead. No, no, my bad, my bad. But it helps, and not helps, but it, it takes you to another level when you can find somebody who you can really, like, work with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It just nah. kind of takes that right person. So what is, like, the situation with you and, like, your manager or your team? Like, what do you guys got going on right now? I feel like with my manager, he really enhances, like, everything. He takes my situation or what, what I got planned or my ideas – and he enhances it. Like, he's like, okay, you want to do this and you want to do that? What if we did this and then we did that, but we also did this and did a 360? <laughs> and, like, he be adding some crazy shit. And I'm like, damn, I ain't never really thought about it that way or yeah. looked at it like that. Like, so he just, you feel me, just turn my shit up. I feel like I, I come with the, you feel me, I bring the product. Yeah. And he really just, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, throw a couple seasoning in there. Yeah, he started that shit up, steering it up. Yeah, thank God for him. No, he he really did change my life, and uh, just anybody that's ever been involved with me and just you know my success, I appreciate you. And I also want to you know thank myself because I never gave up on myself, bro. And no matter how hard shit looked or got, bro, I never gave up, bro. And I never, I never popped a perk. <laughs> This whole bullshit, but nah, I was for real, like that whole motivation speech. I was like, all right, what's you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what's coming, look, but I, I never like gave up, bro. Like, I feel like when you know, you know, you don't know like when the time is or how it's gonna happen, but when you know it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Just gotta keep that faith. That's what I'm big on, on faith for sure. That's really that's number one. No, yeah, I, I salute you, man. I really do. Thank you. Um, I gotta start saying that more. I salute you. <laughs> like salute like yeah i gotta say that more salute nah, and and you know maybe a little backstory i'll be saying that just because i feel like we're real soldiers out here bro like hey bro for real i salute that yeah so sure. like i'll be you know that's what i told him one time i was going i was going through it and i was like bro we some real soldiers like because bro when you think soldier bro it's the guy willing to take the hits but still come up on top you know what I'm like, soldier boy tell him yeah soldier boy. <laughs> i'm about to start in my <laughs> Hey, such a boy type though, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. I need to collab with, bro, bro. Yeah, no. You know, it's funny. I was just about to say, bro. When you asked me that, it was it was something like that. Like, some Soldier Boy. Even on some, like, you know, right now, Larry June going crazy in the Bay. Nah, that would go crazy if I had Larry June on a song. Because I yeah. feel like you could wake up to Larry June. Yeah. And it's just, it's going to get your, your vibe, your mind right. Yeah. Listen to some Larry June with some orange juice. Thanks. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then some some more in there, throwing some love or something. Maybe throwing some some good uh Cash phrases for you know when you when you look hang, uh, hang out with Shotty or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was gonna say some crazy shit, so I'm glad you saved me. So yeah, I'm definitely I'm definitely glad. I think that's that's definitely the vibe for sure, for sure. Yeah, man. So, do you have a dream? Fe- I mean, I know we're talking like about a dream like, female, like type. <laughs> yeah, let's let's talk about that. Oh, I thought, you, I thought you. I thought I just heard dream feet, but you was talking about feet. Let's her. talk about females in LA, bro. Females in LA. You All right, different than out in the Bay and Sac. Okay, look, that was a good question, bro. I really think that's a good question because the girls in L.A., I feel like, you know, they're pretty. But their intentions, and I'm not saying the girls that's from L.A., it's the girls that's in L.A., like the girls that came from maybe Michigan. She came from Michigan to be a model, and this girl came from Nebraska to be an actress, like those type of girls. Like, those be the weird ones. Like, those be the ones that seem like they cool, but their intentions are just not pure, bro. Like terrible. But um, they're definitely pretty. But the the girls in Sacramento and the Bay, <laughs> bro. I ain't gonna lie, cause, bro, they damn near unmatched, bro. I feel like the yeah. Bay and Sac got it. With the women, people be sleep, bro. They're definitely there, bro. Beautiful. Mm. I'm talking about gorgeous, pretty, like there. Yeah. But um, I stay out the way. Yeah, I just I look every night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. can't do too much. I I just be oh she pretty or you feel me shit like that. I don't ever just be doing too much or ever being thirsty for real. Yeah, see, I I learned that that flirting shit to get you in trouble. You know, it don't hurt to flirt, (laughs) but it gets you in certain situations you do not want to be in. (laughs) Like, why am I at this girl house at one fifty six a.m. On a Tuesday, and I don't even like this girl. Like I'm just talking, like, bro, no, yeah. you gotta watch who you flirt with. I, I'm probably not even gonna flirt no more in 2023, bro. I'm really on that. Hanging up the boots for now. I'm hanging up the <laughs> boots, bro. I'm hanging up the boots. I gotta, I gotta give this shit to my. I gotta, I gotta give this content, this music, you know, this ebook, all of everything I'm working on. I gotta give all of that before I give my heart out again. Cause what a woman, not even what a woman. What some of these females like to do, because, you know, the women, I feel like they more sophisticated. They got it together and they on their independent shit. Right. But some of these females, bruh, like I said, their intentions are bad or uh, they just not on the same type of time or they can't understand your schedule. I hate when somebody can't understand your schedule or or they just be like, so I can't get a text back or, or some <laughs> shit like that, bro. That shit blows me, bro, yeah. because it's like. No, you can't get a text back now because why the fuck are you even asking me that? Because it's just like, if I'm if I'm texting you, right, and we text throughout the day, but it doesn't have to be every second. Like, I don't know, I don't like getting bugged. Unless I really, really like you, but even then, I don't want to, like, text all day because if we text all day, I don't have time to miss you. If we mm. texting all day... When am I going to miss you or or like when we meet up, I'm not going to have anything to ask you or any of that because I, yeah. I know what you're doing. I know where you're at and all this stuff because I've been texting you all day. It gives it gives no space for like opportunity to, you know, ask certain questions or I don't know. I'd rather just not text all day. And I hate when somebody don't get my schedule or they just think I'm ignoring them on purpose the whole time I'm doing 200 things a day and you don't even know because I'm not posting everything on Instagram. I'm posting memes and bullshit on Instagram. You're not seeing what I'm really doing. So that shit just be annoying, bro. Just thinking about that irritate me. Like, (laughs) I hate when somebody can't understand your schedule. But somebody who does, like, oh, no, like, it's good. You just text me when you can or or shit like that. Like, understanding that is more like, you feel me? It's not naggy. It's it's not, it's, it's different. It makes you... Not more comfortable, but it makes you, I don't know the word. It's just its just better. It's a better vibe than somebody being more understanding than, you know what I mean? Because as a guy, if you're texting a girl, right, and let's say she's doing appointments all day because she's a, 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 nail, a nail tech or she does, um, or a lash tech, you don't want to be like, so you're not going to text me back? <laughs> You you know what I'm saying like oh so that's what what that's what yeah, you're on no, like bro what the no. fuck like hell no nah, bro 
Like yeah. I want I want you to understand that you can hit me after your busy day and let me know how that went and all that. Right. Like afterwards, but as far as mm, yeah, going back and like forth, I don't get me wrong, I love the clingy shit, bro. But mm, mm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> that shit it just throw nah, me that off. Shit, yeah, that shit could get I, I can see it, bro. Especially like you know, because let me ask you this, what is your process of, of writing music? Is it like I feel it, so I'm gonna go hop in the studio. Is it it, it, it do be like that? Sometimes I'll just be sitting in the car and it'll just pop in my head and I'll just start singing it and put it in my voice memos. Other than that, I'm just in the studio laying um laying melodies down. I come out, listen to the melody, see which one is like, you know, catching to the ear. Like which one is really like ear candy. You know what I'm saying? So I catch that and then I go back in there and fill in the lyrics, you know what I'm saying, through the melody, like trying to trying to really see what would sound good with this melody like the words wise and you know things like that but the process isn't too hard it's overthinking is what's hard like should i say that should i say this are they gonna be thinking like you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. <sighs> I, I think it's just you got to stop overthinking when you're writing you don't want to overthink you want to keep it not simple but simplicity is everything bro like Girl, you played me, did me so shady. Like, that's, we just rhyming, bro. We just trying to, uh, 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 uh. We just trying to make everything fit like Tetris. You know what I'm saying? Everything just fall into place. You want it to just flow and be natural. And it just, I don't know, that's the bag I'm in when I'm writing. I try to really make it real catchy. I'm more of a, a hook kind of dude. Like, I kill any hook that I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm really trying to better my verses. It's always something I can get better on. That's what, you know, I learned. Something that you always can get better at. That's where I'm at with things, too, though. Just trying to um, better myself and really bring my best, the best version of myself to the table. You know mm. what I'm saying? And that all starts, like, internally. So that's why I be, you know, praying and meditating and all that because it all shows, bro. Like, I feel like, you know, it shows in your skin, it shows in your, your your walk. It shows in the charisma. It shows in your... It shows in every... You know what I mean? It shows... It just comes from internally and it shows uh, externally. If that's the word. That's the word? Yeah. Like, it shows on the outside when you've been working internally. Like, when you've been doing your journaling and shit like that, bro. That's what I'm on. Like, really working on myself. You can't really work on... You can't really work on yourself when you're worried about, like, Ashley. You know what I'm saying? Or whoever it may be. You can't really work on yourself when you're worried about... Just when you have other distractions. It's hard to take care of yourself. Like, you over here talking... Uh, not even talking. Let's say Ashley. I just love this Ashley, man. Let's say that Ashley has been into you, right? And you got all the answers for Ashley. But you in the same similar situation with yourself and can't even answer the, you know what I'm saying? You can't even give your, yourself those answers or answer those questions for yourself. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think you really just got to focus on yourself and you know when you need to. It's like you got to follow your intuition, bro. I really, over time, I would just feel this like weird feeling in here when mm. something didn't feel right, but I didn't know that that's my intuition. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So it's really... 85% of life, not even 85, 95% of life, you really got to follow your intuition, bro. Because your intuition won't ever be wrong. You're only wrong when you're assuming. Mm. Assumptions and intuition is What's totally what, different. Yeah, what, what do you think the difference is? Assumption, assumptions is more like assuming. Like, you don't really know. Like, it's more like, like, uh. a girl texting you saying, oh, I'm sorry, I was asleep. You're assuming that she's lying because it's seven o'clock. It was seven o'clock when she stopped texting you, right? She could have been tired and been at work all day and right, wanted to take okay, a nap. Saying, you know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> but since she didn't talk to you till like maybe 12 that night, you like, nah. Or no, 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 the next morning. Yeah, the, the next, next morning. morning. That's when it really, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, 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 what? It's 8 a.m. And you haven't been talking to me since 6.30 yeah. yesterday and you're saying you've been asleep like you don't want to go off your assumptions you really want to follow your intuition but in that case you just got to trust her if that's somebody you fucking with because <laughs> i mean even your intuition can't even tell you that one though yeah yeah because these girls my boy i wouldn't even think she's sleeping i'm like yeah oh for sure you was you was getting your beauty sleep oh okay yeah for sure
Like knowing she <laughs> lying. Yeah. Bro, oh my gosh, bro. These hoes be lying, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's all right though. You gotta you gotta let them do their thing. Yeah. Hoes gonna be hoes. That's true. But I feel like I don't really fuck with hoes. I really fuck with like women. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like women for real, but then sometimes they turn out to be hoes. <laughs> like they just play that whole that part. <laughs> yeah, they play that part and they not really like that, bro. Not really wholesome. Like I love me an undercover hoe. Like, don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new term. Bro. Like, bro, like, like, <laughs> like, I'm saying, like, she a slut for me, but oh, not okay, just a okay. slut out here in public. You I know see, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I like those. But the other one, no. <laughs> I'm on bullshit. I'm on bullshit. That's hella funny, but oh, man. when it comes to love, I stay out the way, bro. It's yeah. distracting. Like, distracting. A lot of distractions. Right now, I'm really. Focus really on my bag, really on my fans, my music. I'm just trying to go crazy, bro. I'm trying to do everything I'm, I said I'm going to do. You know what I mean? So that's where I'm at with things, bro. Just trying to do everything I said, bro, because I do not be keeping my word. Not with the music shit. I'm talking about just period, bro. Period, bro. Yeah. Like, I got to do better. What, 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 what I be you? telling my sister I'm finna pull up. <laughs> I'll be there in 10 minutes. Bro, but my sister lived like 45 <laughs> minutes outside of SAC, though. And when I'm finna pull up, it'd be something that come up real quick. It'd be uh, like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, but I'm gonna do better, bro. I'm keeping, I'm doing better at keeping my word. I wanna keep my promises. I wanna, your word is all you got, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I always use my words to say dumb shit, but I'm ready to be on some smart, intelligent shit, bro. Yeah. I'm not fully there, but we, we maturing yearly. You know what I'm saying? Not by the day, not by the month, yearly. You know what I'm saying? So just trying to get my shit together, bro. Just want to bring the best version of myself to the table. That's it. And I I, I think I want to be the only one at the table with the big turkey. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I don't even think I want anybody at that table. You know what I'm saying? But then again, it's like, am I going to eat all that turkey by myself? I don't want to be greedy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So then, see, now, now that I think about it, you got to come let people eat. The turkey off the table with you, bro. You can't just eat that turkey by yourself. Even but then again, yeah, even though they didn't help cook it, or you know, go hunt that motherfucker. Hey, if you somebody in my life that you know checks up or maybe talk to me every once in a while, or even listen to my music, you could come get a little piece of that turkey. Okay, you deserve it. If you, even if you ain't help cook it, because I mean. I really grab inspiration for from anything, bro. Like, I'll probably go make a banger about this podcast, but not literally the song is about the podcast. I might just throw in a little bar that came from that day. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I grab inspiration from everything. So, you know, being involved with, like, my loved ones and shit, I feel like they inspired me in a way to go get that bag because, I mean, at the end of the day, I do do it for my loved ones. So it's like it would be wrong for me not to let them be at the table and eat the turkey with me, even though they ain't help cook up and all this other stuff. Because if my bro went to the NFL and I ain't help him make those touchdowns and all that shit, I still want to eat some of that turkey, though. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I, I still want to go yeah, to the yeah, games yeah. and all that. Like, right. So you feel me? I'm just treating people the way I would want to be treated, bro. That's what I'm on, bro. Like I've been hearing stuff. that since elementary. I'm like, nah, I don't, but nah, I'm on it. Yeah. And oh sometimes we can overcomplicate that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. Simplicity is everything. Keep shit simple. Mind your business. Stay in your lane. Yeah. Can't go wrong, bro. I'm trying to tell you, can't go wrong. No, I love, I love that answer, man. Just to kind of wrap it up soon, but yeah, uh, I love that answer soon because I, I always tell myself like, if you got to, you know, maybe let me ask you the question too, you know. But if I were to ask myself, if I had a million dollars, what would I would, what I would do? Mm -hmm. I would hire my loved ones, not because they gonna fuck your money up. No, I'm just playing. Go ahead. <laughs> no, go no, ahead. no, no. I mean, you know, maybe. No, I just hired my sister. I just hired my sister as my um my assistant. Okay. Yeah, like just you feel me to handle shit. Um that you feel me, I just can't handle at the second or that I need her to do. Like I'm I'm paying her weekly. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get her to two weeks. What was she doing before? Um uh, she was a stripper. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah. I mean, she's familiar. No, I'm just. I was just saying, bro, she was familiar with the entertainment industry. I don't know. Nah, my mama will whoop her ass. But nah, um, she was really with banking and um, okay, things like that. But if I could just 
get her to do the things that I want to do. I yeah. think that's amazing. And you know what I'm saying? It's keeping money in my sister's pockets. So it's like the money is just coming around full circle. So, And did you, um, did she quit that like full time or? I don't even know. I don't even know her situation for real. I just, I'm trying to give her another little stream of income. Okay. You know I, what I'm saying? Because it's really on some like, not on her flow. It's more like. I don't got her doing too much though. Yeah, like I got her handling some t- some calls. She working on a website right now um, for my coach. She um she be picking out beats for me too. She she picked out one of these um some a crazy beat that I just killed some too. She she just you know what I'm saying. She been coming in handy and really helping and yeah. really doing what she need to do. So I appreciate her on that and editing videos and you know making lyric videos for me too. So that's yeah. real. No, I think that's the best. You know, I think that's why I said, you know, I would hire them simply because I'm able to free up their time. And now, like, if they are building towards something, at least they're not just clocking in and just getting a paycheck. Now they have ownership, you know? No, that's real, bro. I ain't going to lie. If I had a million dollars, like, if somebody just gave it to me out of nowhere, with that M, I'd probably probably buy some gushers and... (laughs) Unlimited lifetime sk- supply. <laughs> Crazy, and I gotta, I gotta go get some new shoes. Gotta get a skateboard. Gotta get a skateboard. Do the prostitutes know I got an M, or do they? <laughs> <laughs> They're just not having to find out. <laughs> like he's spending the whole M on prostitutes. Like. <laughs> Crazy. Hey, I can name at least two people that would probably do that too. So. <laughs> <laughs> really, I feel like I spend that on a Drake feature. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm putting that money up for a Drake feature, and I'm chilling. I don't gotta do nothing else. Like, bro, once I get my Drake feature, bro, I'm popping my shit and talk, bro. I'm on some other shit after I get my Drake feature, bro. Like, I'm ready. I'm telling you, like, we got to do another episode. Like, of course, we already got to do another one, but we got to do an episode right after I get that feature, bro. Sure. <laughs> got to talk about it, bro. We're going to play this exact clip. Bro, right exact clip, bro. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like I'm going to have a TV in here, so we'll be able to play it on there. But Hell yeah. But yeah, man, I appreciate you. I know we're talking about the next one. I'm excited. Bro, for real, real <laughs> shit. I appreciate you for having me coming through, bro. Like, this shit, it, it, it just feels natural, bro. I'm more than comfortable, bro. And you're an amazing person, bro. Intelligent and... You and Alex are, you feel me? The sky is the limit. Not even the sky, bro. Y'all passed that, bro. Y'all got to hit y'all Dougie one time. <laughs> <laughs> nah, sure. man, you're, you're a kind guy, bro. I, I really appreciate that. And I, I believe in you 100%, bro. You Thank know, you, your bro. charisma, like the the sense of just like, as soon as you showed up, bro, it's easy to talk to you. Like, Thank you, you bro. know, you can't get that from everyone, especially being in this industry. Like, we come across all types of people. <sighs> And and that yeah, and I'm gonna tell you right now, yeah, but you got the people skills to like get yourself in the right door. So Thank yeah, bro, you, bro. I'm, I'm looking forward. To this was one of the best doors yeah. that I got myself into, bro. So I appreciate you, for real That's shit, bro. So I love, Thank man. Thank you for having me. For Absolutely, real. bro. So yeah, anything else you want to say right before we dip off? Um. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Marmar Oso M A R M A R O S O on all platforms, and uh, keep God in your life. You know what I'm saying? That's a good way to end it. Yeah. Hey man. Oh yeah. yeah new uh, music, new music. Uh, you know what I'm saying? For us on the way, new project and new single and uh be on the lookout for that and be on the lookout for my song Way You Ride, bro. It's a banger and it's going to turn the summer up. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. I'm ready. And uh, we going up. Come I appreciate on, you, bro. It's all love, man. Hey, tap in with this guy, bro. Quarter yes, of a billion views already streams. Come on, let's get it. Let's go. <laughs>